Hey, hey guys, Eric Sue here. Hope you're doing well. Guess what? It's time to harvest my basil because it's just growing like crazy on my growing tower here. And uh, also got some kale up on here as well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and harvest this uh, basil uh, with you guys today. And, um, you know, this has been growing here actually since the early part of January approximately, uh, if not sooner. And um, it's going very well, as you can see. Um, it's already May, so it's been five months of basil for us. It was almost actually June, right? So it's been five, uh, five plus months, uh, five-ish months. And I'm just gonna harvest some basil here. Um, if you have any ideas of what I should make with this basil, I already know pe uh, pesto, so uh, that's already taken. So, but if you have any other suggestions, uh, that'd be great. Just let me know in the comments below. That'd be cool. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest here. And as you hop on, if you have any questions about this, that'd be great. Uh, like I said, this basil has been growing for at least, well, at least this is kind of a second um, growth of basil actually. As you can see, um, there's a lot of thick basil in here. Um, sometime in early, I want to say, uh, what is it? What is this, June? So let's see, February, March. Sometime in March, March, April, in that period of time, we kind of um, ate all of the basil and made a lot of pesto. But for this, we, um, we let it grow um, since since April then, so two months approximately, uh, eight weeks, and it's grown back, so it's really, really good. Um, I think it's really, it smells great, it smells fresh. Um, we love it, uh, growing off of this tower. Um, I'm not sure the exact price of basil right now, if you were to buy them at the uh, grocery store, but I know that uh, I'm not going to the grocery store because of the pandemic, and so uh, I get to have fresh basil for my salads, uh, for my pesto, for my homemade pizza. Um, it's really, really great to have this um, growing in my house, so I don't have to leave my house. Uh, I'm going to be here for a little bit picking all these off, but... Uh, it's really great. Like I said earlier, if you guys didn't catch my comment, if you guys have any suggestions of what I can do with this basil, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Even if you're watching this on the replay, uh, let me know, and that'd be great. Welcome your suggestions. So far, like I said, we made pizza, uh, basil pizza, homemade. Um, what's really, really cool is that we actually, actually use. Uh, these um, original crust and um, works out pretty well, really tasty. Um, probably a little bit better than what you can get from those other stores like uh, I don't know, Pizza Hut, uh, Papa John's, you know, you name it. Probably a little bit better tasting than those. All right, just a few minutes and we already got this going here. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all of this and uh, there's probably at least, I don't know, 50 or more leaves, 50 plus. So uh, I could probably get, I don't know, maybe two pounds maybe. I don't know, is that a lot? Two pounds of basil leaves? Okay, that's already a little bit here. But um, if you guys like basil, let me know in the comments below uh, how you use your basil, what it means to you. Um, this kale here too, I'll probably harvest. But um, how do you like your basil? Where do you use it? How do you use it? Um, like I said, we're probably going to use it later today for maybe a pesto. Um, and uh, in a 
if I let this thing grow, actually, I think in another month, it'll probably come back to this level of uh, growth again. So I think that's the way this basil uh, plant survives and lives. This one's actually a little overgrown. I'm going to cut this part off. About that, there we go. But uh, tell me a little bit about your stories, if you guys can, uh, of your basil experiences, why you love basil, how you use basil. Um, be interesting to hear. Um, there's so many here. It's a long awaiting to get to this. But uh, if you're wondering where my little one is, he's with the mom. He might show up a little bit later and garden with me. But um, he's going to go ahead and uh, harvest here as much as I can. So far, so good. Um, whoa. I'm gonna get in here. Where are you guys? Maybe you guys can comment a little bit about what you've been up to with your gardens, if you have any gardens, and what you've been growing indoors, or if you try to grow uh, basil on your own as well, how that experience has gone. I'd be curious to know how you guys grow your herbs. And um, speaking of herbs, this whole uh, system here I have actually you could grow as many types of herbs as you want. I don't have it on on this tree now, but you could grow um, cilantro, you can grow parsley, you could grow um, thyme, you can grow chives, you can grow a lot of herbs on this thing uh, all at once. And, um, and this, by the way, is just one spot, like I maybe I mentioned earlier one spot on this whole system here and there's 20 spots on here that you can actually use okay and so um, I'll be here for a while trying to get this basil and uh, but this system right here like I said can grow many different types of herbs and uh, we love it and we use it and uh, you might be wondering if you can get your own. Yes, you can. You can grow your own and not have to worry about leaving your house uh, to get herbs or even other plants like kale that we got right here, uh, lettuces, um, year-round if you want. You can grow as much as you want, as little as you want. Uh, the system expands even more to uh, higher heights, so you can even have more growth spots. This one has... 20 grow spots, so um, you could have 20 basil if you want, but that's overkill. Um, yes, you can grow tomatoes, which we have growing outside. We actually, what's really cool is that we have uh, uh, three cauliflower heads that were growing outside. It's really cool. I don't know if you saw my other videos, but uh, we have three cauliflower heads growing outside right now, and uh, that's really exciting. Broccoli is growing outside as well. Um, and definitely kale, that you can see here. I uh, love using the kale for smoothies, and um, that's what we got so far right here. And um, let's see here. But kale for definitely for smoothies, uh, cauliflower, probably gonna use that for cauliflower soup later. Um, but Definitely saving trips to going to the shopping center for basil and herbs, uh, cauliflower, uh, tomatoes are growing outside, like I said. And uh, if anyone's ever seen or have uh, checked the prices of tomatoes recently, boy, are they quite expensive. Um, and so we're going to save on those. And. Um, so many leaves here to get, but um, I'm probably
probably gonna fill this whole bag up at. I think I can. But um, share with me if you guys are watching. What in the world do you use basil for? Because I need some ideas besides pesto. I already got that one. Any other ideas? And pizza. Any other ideas? That'd be great. Um, let me turn this. There's all these smaller leaves that I'm just. Should I cut the smaller leaves? I'll get the big gigantic leaves. I get the medium to medium to big leaves. Um, that nice. That's probably a good a pound, maybe a pound and a half. I don't know. Oh, I hit myself. All right, these lights have got to move around a little bit. So, um, if you guys are still watching, uh, the other thing that I'm excited to announce. For those who uh, follow me uh, with my Goality Fitness Club, is that I am uh, going forward with some outdoor fitness classes in two weeks. Uh, more details of that will be coming out. Um, I'll put together official flyer, uh, but uh, for those who are on now and who might, might be interested in a fitness outdoor class to get out of the house and have fun and get some fitness. Um, I'll be doing some outdoor fitness classes in two weeks. Official flyers coming out, uh, coming out soon so that you guys can register and you guys can participate. So, uh, I know eating healthy is really important and getting your physical activity is important. So uh, I am announcing some support in the fitness side of things as well. So if anyone wants to get out, um, to stay active with us, with me, that'd be great. So here we go. This is what we got so far. And um, I'm going to dig in back in here. Get some more leaves. All right. All right. All right. Like I said, if I come back in a week or two with the update video about this tower and these these uh, this particular uh, basil growth, you probably will see, if not the same, maybe more, because. This thing is going to continue growing, and uh, it's not going to stop, I think, until I snip it off. But that's a lot of basil right there so far. I'm going to get some back leaves here. Um, I know some of you guys might be like, well, how do I get one of these? Uh, it's really simple. Uh, contact me and I'll follow up with you with all the information you would need so that you can get one of these. Um, so that you can start growing and harvesting as much basil as you like or kale if you want and grow your tomatoes on your own. And so, and this is a perfect way for you to get started, get one your own. Because um, you know what? I want you guys to have as much fun with this as I'm having fun with this and enjoying healthy food as much as I'm going to enjoy this basil that I'm going to be creating. Would you guys like to see me create the basil or pesto with this basil? That might be another video coming out. We'll see if I can set that up. But you guys all know how to make basil or pesto, right? 
I hope so. But uh, definitely, what do you think? I got enough to uh, make my pesto yet? <laughs> all right. Um, all right. I got a few more of these. I think I want to harvest here, and uh, I'm gonna let this one continue growing. But looks pretty good so far. I'm going to finish this up. And a few back in here. Uh, I'm gonna use the pinch technique and pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch. All right, pinch. All right, good deal. All right. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just say that this is a full hack a lot of basil and um, smells so fresh um, not sure how much this would go at the supermarket of this uh, size however um, yeah this is still growing and I could probably keep going and, and maybe fill up another bag however this is my harvest of my basil I appreciate you guys watching um, look out for that future uh, fitness flyer for the outdoor fitness program that's starting in two weeks and I uh, really appreciate you hanging in there with me I might get some kale for my, um, my shakes a little bit later but I really appreciate you guys let me know if you have any questions about this growing tower and I will definitely get back to you about it so let me know and um, I'm gonna go to make some basil all right you guys see you later